Forda Deceptor is designed to identify and isolate malicious actors by deploying lures that draw attackers to deception decoys. Looking at the Forda Deceptor dashboard, we can see the distribution of decoys by operating system. In this environment, we have several types of decoys, including Linux, Windows, and OT. And we can also see the lures that are deployed and visible to attackers on the network, such as RDP, SMB, and HTTP. The dashboard also shows the incidents and events over the past four weeks and basic system health information. Looking deeper into the decoys and lures, the Deception OS tab shows all the operating systems available for use in creating decoys. This is an extensive and growing list of OS types including Voice over IP, IoT, OT, multiple Linux OSs, and Windows workstations. We can also add custom Windows OS images to Forda Deceptor. For each Deception OS, we can also see the lures that are deployed on the network for that OS type. In the case of the OT Deception OS, we have lures such as HTTP, TFTP, and Modbus, while in the Linux OS, we have SSH, Samba, and Git, among others. In total, Forda Deceptor supports more than a dozen Deception OSs and 29 different lures. Deploying deception decoys is done through the deployment wizard. On the deployment wizard screen, we have the option to choose from a list of available deception OSs. Choosing the SCADA deception OS, we also have the option of choosing from a list of available decoys. This is a growing list of OT device types from manufacturers such as Schneider, Rockwell, GE, and Siemens. Once a decoy is chosen, we can see the available lures that will be deployed for that device. After selecting the Deception OS and decoy, Forda Deceptor will automatically generate a MAC address that matches the manufacturer, and once the network settings are configured, the decoy will start to initialize. Looking at the decoy status, we can see all decoys created on the Forda Deceptor. Looking at a Linux decoy in more detail, we can see the configuration details and all the lures that have been deployed on the network. We can also see credentials for SSH, HTTP, and HTTPS, along with details for Samba and Git. We can monitor all interactions with the decoys in the analysis section of the Forda Deceptor admin interface. Looking deeper into an event, reveals details about the interaction between the attacker and the decoy. Here we can see the user account used by the attacker and their IP address. Forda Deceptor also maps the attack techniques to the MITRE ICS framework. Clicking on one of the ICS techniques opens a new tab with additional details. In this case, more information about the lateral tool transfer technique. Continuing through the interaction details, we can download a copy of the PCAP file and see the login detail and commands executed on the decoy. In this example, we have an attacker who connected via SSH and proceeded to download a malicious payload using a wget command. The local AV on the decoy rated the payload as clean, however it was also sent to VirusTotal and Forda Sandbox for additional analysis. Both Forda Sandbox and VirusTotal identified it as malicious and selecting the Forda Sandbox PDF report link opens the detailed report, as seen here. As we saw in the interaction details, Forda Deceptor can integrate with the Fortinet security fabric, as well as third-party services and platforms. Forda Deceptor supports Sandbox integration with Forda Sandbox and Cuckoo Sandbox, and API integration with VirusTotal. In addition to detection device integration, Forda Deceptor also has a number of built-in quarantine integrations to isolate a compromised endpoint when an incident is detected. As part of the security fabric, Forda Deceptor integrates with Forda Gate, Forda NAC, and Forda EDR, and also has built-in integrations with Palo Alto and Cisco ICE, Microsoft ATP, Checkpoint Firewall, and CrowdStrike. In summary, Forda Deceptor is a robust deception solution designed to identify and isolate attackers. It supports a wide array of deception OSs and lures that are easy to configure and deploy. Incident analysis can be performed directly in the admin console or via connected SIM or SOAR platforms, and integration with detection devices and services 
provides deep analysis of toolkits and packages that attackers upload, download, or execute on the decoys. Finally, quarantine integration with the Fortinet security fabric, as well as third-party solutions, allows for rapid isolation of attacker workstations and compromised endpoints.